Last card, but certainly not least. Okay, so now comes the three pieces of the puzzle here. So I'm going to be making an ombre, and I know they've got um, brushes out that do that. I don't own them, but I do own this brush that I never use for any kind of painting. I always had it just as a decorative thing. I thought it was pretty cool looking. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. Now this is a pretty uh, light color. So I'm just going to get this back and forth. I'm kind of interested, and I'm, I need it large enough to be, you know, over this thing. So, I'm just going to be getting this. I know they have you going back and forth, and back and forth like that, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and I see I'm not getting a bunch in the center here. I'm going to just keep spreading it around. I need it up a little bit higher up here. I'm basically taking the whole space I need with my lightest color. Okay. Now with my next color, let's see, let me get it a little higher. And I did just re-ink my yellow so that I would have it. Uh, let me move you a little closer so you can see a little better what I'm doing. So I did have my yellow inked. Now I'm just getting it going, trying to get it as blended out. as possible, as even as possible. Get a little bit more. Okay, now the other two I'm not going to do this with. It's just I wanted this first layer to be even. Okay, so now my middle color is tumbled glass and then broken china is next. So I'm just brushing this on. This is my middle color. And I'm just going to kind of start again right in the middle. It's my middle color and I'm going to start in the middle. And this is where it kind of gets as exciting as getting as watching paint dry. Basically, even though they're blue, yellow and blue make green. So this is going to make a green color. And then this, and you get the idea, this is going to make a darker green color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera now and I'm going to work on the middle and the dark and then I'm going to go back over everything with my lighter yellow and try and get three, you know, get an ombre effect on it. But you can see how it, uh, how it works. Um, it's not a super slow process. I mean, it's not a super fast process. Uh, patience does... Uh, it does take patience, and it, and it, it will pay off. Um, and you can certainly do this with your tool. Uh, if all you have are some inexpensive paintbrushes like this, I'm sure you can work and, and do it the same. Um, if you have your distress tool, you can do that as well. I just thought it would be kind of fun to um, do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll come back. So, 
there I've done what I wanted to do. Uh, I did speed the process on a little bit, just a little bit with the, the two blues. Uh, again, if you have all the green colors, then use the different green, the yellow and, the, and two different greens. Um, I just was, you know, if you, if you think about what colors mix together, Distress Inks is perf perfect for that. Now I did get some of the blue on this pad and so I'm just pushing and wiping that off of the pad. It's fine. Okay, and then there's my... And, and this, it's Distress Ink. It will totally wash off of there so I will be able to have a totally clean brush even if I let it dry while I'm doing the rest of this, okay? So now I'm going to take my VersaFine I'm going to ink up my stamp. Ah! Thought I had a better hold of it. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now VersaFine is really good with these stamps that are a solid surface stamp. Okay, and you can totally see such great coverage I have on there. Get all the ink off me. Okay, and now I'm going to stamp on this. Let's see, I think I'll do it, I think I'll just do it this way. I'm going to just left, right, up, down, or north, south, east, west, and I'm giving it time to allow all of that ink. Northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, oh, I mean whatever it needs, um, but I'm giving it time for all of that ink to transfer over. And hopefully Nice. Nice. Okay. Let me get ink off of this. Okay. So now let me, um, I'm going to put this along the side to dry and let me pull the rest of my card together well uh, and show you what the fourth card is going to look like. Be right back. Okay. So. Um, to save time here, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. You can use regular glue. You would just have to do it, you know, do all the pieces and wait and let it dry. Uh, but in order to save time. Now I have dried this, but there are still some wet splotches on here. And I don't know if you can see that. There's a few shiny spots. Those shiny spots are still wet. All right? So... That's how you know it's still wet. Um, it takes a long time for that uh, the pigment ink to dry. So now what I'm doing here is I cut, I measured, let me put this down for a second, I measured from the top to the bottom on this piece and cut out, not with good scissors, uh, and cut out my zipper. You can use any zipper. I sell um, this zipper I've got. Uh, it's white. It can be inked any color. Uh, alcohol ink will, you, will, will even uh, change the color of the, the metal um, zipper parts. Um, but I sell it in my Etsy shop, Paper Lace and Bling, if you're, if you're interested. I'll try and remember to leave a, a link below. But anyway, uh, so that's what we're going to put, just if I can get that, I'm almost out of the Fabri-Tac and I've got to go and get some more. Alright, so I'm putting, I must have a, I must have a clog drain here. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, so we're getting some Fabri-Tac on here. And I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to place that zipper right up against and pull it just right up against that and but make sure that it's sticking up and I tapered the sides in so it would cut down on the bulk but please remember don't touch your your stuff okay here. Okay. And I have bottom, side, this was the top because they're not, um, I mean the top and the bottom are the same but the sides weren't. It, it's not a absolute squared off piece. Again, this, this is all about the technique, not actually the sizes of things and stuff. If you want me to go into that much, I mean, shoot, these are long enough videos. <laughs> but um, I can if you, if you want me to. But mainly it's about just to remind you of some of the things that you can do without having all the expensive equipment pieces and stuff. You can just make some beautiful cards with just things you've got laying around your craft room and you don't have to put a ton of money because I always thought oh my gosh that misty tool that's just so cool and it is I don't mean it's not but for as much as I do cards which Pretty much the only time I do cards is when you're seeing me do cards. <laughs> I, can, I can pretty much promise you that. Um, so my stamp on my jig is perfect for that. It's it, I don't I don't need. Uh, I think those things. I think the the middle sized one is like sixty bucks or something. Now not to say if somebody bought it for me. Um, you know that I I wouldn't be excited or if I want it somewhere or something like that I would use the bejeebies out of it but I would have to have one that would do journals my journals and stuff because that's where my first love is is playing around with my journals so it like the new Tim Holtz one takes the bigger page because um, I don't really work with card size that often okay now I think that looks pretty stinking cool and then I've got my yellow card back. And I'm going to put that right there. And again, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Let me get what little I've got back down here. This is the wonderful thing about Fabri-Tac is, is that little stinking circle. But I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac because this is all fabric. I'm going to set this over here. Am I still in? Yeah. So I'm just going to push that there. Come on. I have some of my, oh, I'm just about out of this stuff. I think I have another bottle. I usually always do. When I pull my last bottle, I make sure it goes on my list. Come on. There we go. Okay, and Fabri-Tac works great on paper. Um, I think if you're just doing paper to paper, it's it's a little too pricey for me to just do it paper to paper. But if you're working with fabric of any kind, it's definitely worth it. Let me make sure. Now that looks good. Now, I'm going to lay something over, here we go, and push. Make sure it didn't move. I just don't want to pick up, 
if I have a bit of black come up, I don't want to pick it up on my fingers. See? Black. Okay. That looks good. And then one last little bit of stamping here. See, I don't think I should have done the stamping without putting that on there. See, I was so interested in getting that put down that I just didn't think this part through. Okay, so this is, I left my heart in so many places. Okay. Okay, got good coverage. Let me pick this back up and use my... See, I've got a... I've got this grid on the bottom here and I should be able to... I should be able to uh, utilize that to center and make sure I've got things straight. Okay, again, we're going to north, south, east, and west. Give it time for everything to transfer to the paper. Okay. All right. Um, so I'll be back in just a second with uh, all four cards and um, the finishing touches that went on them. Okay? Back in a minute. Okay, here are the finished cards. Um, and something that you could think about if you were so inclined to um, own different or have different materials. Gamsol um, is something that you could use when you color with, uh, with pencil. And um, it would just be that it would um, blend all of your pencil uh, better. So that's just one thing. But I didn't use it here, so you know you don't have it. I didn't use it. Uh, you don't have to have it. You can totally just color with pencil, and I think this looks great. Something really wild to make this really kind of pop and stand up. And then just um, utilizing a hole and making... I use this for... This is my husband's Valentine's card. <laughs> but, I mean, I just poked a little hole here and made the three kind of, kind of playing off of this, having, even though it's not centered. Okay, so there's that one. Life should be full of small pleasures. I did not glue this down. Once I got this glued down, I if I put a tea bag in there, I'm afraid I might I might uh, tear it. So it's just going to be for show. Um, I put another uh, row of uh, coffee cups or tea cups on there, and again, it's kind of just a tone on tone. Uh, it's not really made to be anything huge, but when you open it up, I put some here so people can see that, you know, that's what it was. Now, if you remember correctly, I had smooshed this area pretty badly. Um, oh, Jennifer McGuire was the first person I'd ever seen use this, and then my girlfriend gave it to me for Christmas. It's a Tombow Mocker. And it's sand and a rubber eraser. And it took a good bit of that off. I imagine if I kept fiddling with it, it would get um, pretty much all of it off. But I got enough of it off where you really can't tell that it was really smooshed. Smooshed. Okay. Um, and then this one. And uh, I didn't do anything, uh, anything else with this one at all. It, it just left it. I keep thinking this is not straight, but it's a visual re illusion because of the way the H is 
because I, I, it's straight. It's, it just doesn't look like it's straight, but it's the way the, this big word and the little words are playing off each other. It's, it looks like it's not straight. It still doesn't look like it's straight, but it's straight. Anyway, and then uh, this one, I put my three little bling down there and I stamped uh, this little sequence right here. Uh, I just stamped that little section on some white paper, colored these, and then cut them out and glued them on just to bring something here down to here. And uh, that is that card. And I also stamped in here, and I didn't stamp very well here, but I just left it. Um, but this is a really cute stamp. With all the Zen tangles and all of those kind of things that are out there right now, it's a really cute stamp. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm sorry this was so long, uh, but um, I had fun doing it. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, I hope you try some of these. Talk at you later. Bye.